Hi there, it's Joy Morin from The Color in My Piano blog. Today I'd like to show you how to make some music worksheets using Microsoft Publisher and a series of um, picture files that I've created. Um, these are a free download on my blog and I'll have a link to those for you. These are all um, image files that are PNG files. PNG files are very similar to JPEG files except PNGs allow you to have a transparent background. Um, which is a good thing so that you can put um, a time signature or some notes on top of a staff or something like that and not have a white background behind any of the objects. So um, using these PNG files and Microsoft Publisher, you can create some pretty effective and simple worksheets without too much work or without too steep of a learning curve. Um, the program Microsoft Publisher comes in the Microsoft Office suite, and if you find that you already own that, then you may already have Microsoft Publisher. I will say for the Mac, um, there is not a separate Microsoft Publisher program, um, but Microsoft Word and Microsoft Publisher are sort of combined on the Mac. So that's what I have, and so this might look a little bit different for anyone who has a PC. But I'm going to open up a blank document here. And oops, that's something else. i got to make a blank one here for you. All right. Open a blank document here. and. Um, here at the bottom is where I toggle from the Microsoft Word part to the sort of the combined Microsoft Publisher part. This is the publishing side. So anyone on a Mac, you'll want to be over here. Um, okay, so here's my blank document. I'm going to start, I think I'm going to make um, a worksheet, let's say, about intervals. So I'm going to go over here to my list of PNG files. And I'm going to choose the short grand staff here. And I just have to click and drag, and it'll put this picture file into my Microsoft Word program. All right, and I'm going to just put this over here. And um, next, um, I'm going to need, I'm going to use some whole notes on this staff. So I'm going to go down, and under rhythm value, you can find all the notes and rests. So here's the whole note. Click and drag, and there it is. Um, when you first click and drag, these items might be pretty large in your program. I did that on purpose to try to preserve the quality in case you have a project where you need it to be large. Um, but in many cases, you're going to find that you're going to have to resize smaller. So I'm trying to make this whole note be able to fit on this staff. So I'm just going to put it here so I can kind of fit it between two lines, and then I'll know that it's the right size. And I'm going to put this down, down arrow on my keyboard. I think that looks pretty good. If you find that you can't quite get the right size, you can always zoom in a little bit closer, and that will allow you a little more control, and you can see what you're doing. Um, so there's my first whole note. Um, if I wanted to make a worksheet just um, you know, about naming the notes on the staff, you could just be happy here. Um, I'm going to try intervals, so I'm going to put another note on the staff with this one. Um, now I could go back to my list of PNG files and drag in the whole note again. However, since this one here is already the right size that I need, I can just copy and paste this one and save some time. So I'm going to hit Control C on my keyboard, and that's going to copy, click away, and then I can hit Control V, and that will paste. So there's my other note file here. So I'm going to move this to wherever I want on the staff. And one of the nice things about Microsoft Publisher is that it sort of automatically snaps things. And you can see that those are centered now on top of each other. And I've got a nice looking third on my staff. Um, if you do want a note that is a ledger line, like let's say I wanted um, this to be middle C. Um, I did not create a, um, a bunch of new files that would have ledger lines on everything, so what you'll need to do is go up here to the line um, and draw in a, a line yourself. Oops, let me delete that and try again. I double clicked or something. And just draw the line going across like that. All right. By default, Microsoft Publisher decided to make my line be blue, and it has a shadow underneath, and I don't need that. So I'm going to go up here to Format, and you can see here, here's the styling that Microsoft Publisher automatically put on my line. And in here, here's some plain lines with no shadow, and I'm going to choose black and do that. I do want the line thicker, though. I'm going to move this down a little bit. And so I'm going to go here to line, and in this drop down, you can adjust the weight of the line. And I'm going to try one and a half. That looks better. It's matching the, the thickness of the staff lines a little bit better. So I think that's good. All right. So now that I have my first problem on my worksheet finished, um, you know, I may decide th that this looks a little bit too big. 
um, and if I want to resize everything, including the whole notes, so that they will everything will go at the same rate and stay in the same place, you can group these items together. Click and drag, select those items, and then um, I'm going to group everything. And once they're grouped, this is really handy because then you can very easily move everything at one time as one object. And you can always ungroup later if you need to adjust anything within the group. Um, and this is also great for resizing too. So now when I resize, and by the way, since this is, um, you'll notice that the aspect ratio is not locking here. So I'm going to undo. Um, just a tip here, you, you can hit shift on your keyboard before you start clicking and dragging the corner and that will lock the aspect ratio for you. So now the size, the, um, re the proportions are preserved. What I'm going to do next for my worksheet is put in some text boxes. Um, I'm going to put a title on my worksheet. Center, bold, I'm going to make the size of the font a little bit bigger. Okay, and I'm just going to put music worksheet. And then I will need another text box for the student to put their name. I'm going to align to the right, and I'll put name. Okay, and then you might also want some directions. So I'm going to do one more text box here. Okay. All right, and I'm going to put um, identify the interval in the blanks below. Okay, and this, so now I need blanks. So I need another text box, and I'm going to put it underneath here. I'm going to center and just put some more underscores in here. So then the student could um, write in the blank that that is a fourth. Okay, so I've got my first problem in the worksheet done. Um, I can very easily make my second problem by grabbing this grouped bunch of objects here, hitting copy, clicking away, and then paste. And now I have my second problem, and all I have to do is just adjust the notes inside. Um, so that's um, kind of a time saver. And I, I'm going to ungroup here. And let's see, I'm going to keep my middle C, and I'm going to make this be a fifth. So I'm just pushing up on the keyboard. OK, there we go. I can group this back together if I want to, but I probably don't need to m move it around at all, so I'm just, I'm just going to leave it. Um, and I can copy and paste my blank so that it looks the same, and just put that underneath here. And then I can do one more copy, paste, and we'll fill the space here. For this one, I'm going to ungroup. I think I'm going to get rid of my middle C, so I'm going to delete that ledger line I made. And maybe I'll do a base clef example. I'm going to throw this on the D, and I'll make a third this time. Oops. Here we go. And I need one more blank. All right, so that's just a little example how you could do intervals or note naming for a worksheet. Um, I think I'm going to make another section on my worksheet here. And this one, I think, will be a matching for terms and symbols. So I'm going to go over here to my list of PNG files again. And I think I'm going to use some different rests. So here's my quarter rest. I'm going to click and drag that in here. I'm also going to get the half rest. And let's get the whole rest. OK, so now I got these in here, and they're way too big again. So I'm going to um, click and drag, select everything, and resize everything at once here so that they're all the same size. And in this case, I didn't need to group the items first because I don't really care about their relationship to each other, whether they move further away from each other. I just want them to be resized at the same time. OK, that's looking better. OK, so I think what I'll do on this part of the worksheet is have all the rests sitting on the left-hand side of the page. And I'll put the um, terms on the right-hand side, and the student will match by drawing lines from one side to the other. All right, so I'm going to put some directions in here. And if I want to keep the formatting the same, I can just copy and paste from here. Control-C, click away, Control-V, and then I'll move this down here. OK. So draw a line from the symbol on the left to its term on the right. And I need to make this a little bit larger here, a little longer. All right, so now I just need my terms on this side. So we're going to do some more text boxes. 
and I'll center this and I'll start with the quarter rest. Um, by the way, if you ever want to center text in the um, as far as this way into the center of the text box, you can go to format and there's a button here that lets you do that. So I'll go to middle and that brings it down. Now I'm going to copy and paste again to get me um, a couple of more of these terms and then I can just um, adjust the name inside. I think I'll put the half rest next and then I'll do the whole rest. So now the student could match these and you can make sure everything's lined up really nice and neat if you want to so the worksheet looks really good when, when it's finished. Um, Alright, so let me just show you one other thing here. I've included in the PNG files the grand staff which I showed you and I also put a plain staff and there's some different things you can do with that. So there's the plain staff. Um, so first of all, um, maybe I want the staff to be a little bit longer on the page so that it fills it up. So I can just grab here and stretch the image file out a little bit. If you're going smaller, you can kind of unstretch, you know, smash it in this way. You can also use the crop tool for the, the picture here. So if you hit crop, um, it gives you these little cursors on the edges or whatever in the corners and you can um, crop the file down to whatever size you might want for your worksheet example. And that will actually just sort of um, cut off the image and just not show part of it. And you can always adjust the crop later by going back to this button. I'll just click away and it shows me just the part that I saved. All right, now with this staff, I can put um, a clef on here. So I'm going to go down to the symbols and I'm going to do a base clef. I'm also going to put a time signature in, so I'm going to grab that while I'm here. Let's just put a 3-4 time in. All right. So these are, again, way too big, so I'm going to put this down, okay, and put this on the staff. Now, um, with the base clef, the two dots of the base clef should be centered within the top two spaces. So I'm going to use that as my guide to make sure that this looks really good. Okay, I think that's pretty close. And then, time signature. I can size this down and put that right on the staff. I think it's still a little too tall. Okay, that looks pretty good. Um, you can also maybe put a bar line on either side of the, the staff here if you want to just kind of neaten up the look. You could put some notes on here just for a really short musical example, um, or may maybe for a worksheet you wouldn't even want the time signature, and you could just put some notes on the staff and have the student write, you know, L for a line note and space note, you know, or they could um, uh, name the notes, a series of notes that you could put on the staff here. Um, so just that's just a quick example of how you can use that staff. I will say though, if you find that um, you know you want to actually write out like a whole composition or an arrangement of some sort, this is not the way to do it. These PNG files work really well for just simple basic worksheets, but if you actually want to write out a whole composition, you'll need a program like Finale or something similar. Um, it would just be a lot of time to drag in all the notes that you need for your composition, and then you would need some stems going up, some going down. You would need to evenly space out all the notes within a measure and you know have the formatting look really good in the end so I don't recommend it for that but if you're just making simple worksheets this is a great way to go alright so I think that's everything I wanted to show you other than just finishing off you can um, using a text box again put a copyright at the bottom and I do recommend that you do this not so much just um, for someone who maybe would kind of steal your work online although that could happen but um, more importantly I think just for the convenience of anyone that you may share your file with um, I find sometimes that I print off a worksheet from a website that I like and then um, later I want to print off some more of them for um, a group class or something and if it doesn't have the copyright or the website on the bottom then I don't remember where it came from so I can't go back and find it again so just for convenience I think it's great to have this on here you can create a copyright symbol by using the left parentheses a small c and then the right parentheses and Microsoft Publisher will automatically insert the copyright symbol for you and then I usually put the year and then you can put your name if you want to or your website or both um, or whatever information you might want to put um, and I usually make this copyright just really small and unobtrusive it's just for convenience um, and I so I'll go down to size 8 font and um, sometimes I'll even make it gray instead of black just so it's more in the background alright so there's your copyright then if you like I said if you want to share this file um, online um, you can save it as a PDF which I do re recommend doing 
you'll want to keep your own um, Microsoft Word document copy on your computer, so you'll want to save it that way. But then you can also save it again as a PDF file here. Um, and PDF is a great way to share because it's such a universal format. Um, anyone, whether they have mi the Microsoft Publisher program or not, would be able to open a PDF. Um, so it just works really well that way. So then you would hit save and do that. I'm just going to hit cancel. So that's the overview of how you can make some music worksheets using Microsoft Publisher, um, using those PNG files that I, I'm sharing on my blog. So I hope that helps. If you find that you have other questions you'd like answered, please let me know and I'll see what I can do. Um, I'll talk to you later.